I just want to let you know, I've been a working man my whole life. I worked check to check and sometimes borrowed from the check cashing place to pay my bills. These rich people are also our employers. If you tax the heck out of them, they just pack up and leave. So we have to have an equal medium. If I'm a owner of a multi-million dollar business, yeah, tax me, but give me some break. I have a plan to give tax breaks to employers that provide daycare so that we can get people off of welfare and into jobs so we can create more taxpayers. But, uh, you know, look at Bill Gates. The man employs, what, 600,000 employees? If, if, if we didn't give him tax breaks and he paid what he truly should pay, we'd be looking at a lot more people looking for work. So I, I agree with you. They need to pay their share of taxes, but they also need to be considered for some relief for employing people and creating taxpayers. Thank you. Uh, I, Sylvia, I agree with you. And uh, just this year, I, I voted to support tax um, Amazon online uh, retailers. Because in California, if you're a Home Depot, if you actually have presence in the state, then customers who go to that place you have to pay sales tax. Well, online retailers with no California-based presence, they're not subject to the t same ta uh, tax rate. So we, we have legislation that I've, I'm very proud to support that basically uh, requires uh, online retailers to do the same. Now, s seven years ago, or eight years ago, uh, I campaigned for the Proposition 63 which is taxing 1% surcharge tax on millionaires. So for those of you who make million dollars or more a year, I apologize. Uh, but we, dis we basically had a statewide uh, ballot initiative to tax the millionaires to fund mental health programs, which voters uh, supported. And, and we're very proud that over $225 million have gone to Alameda County now because of that effort. I've been reading Robert Reich's latest book and it's really clear his arguments are sound we are pitting teachers against firefighters firefighters against police officers and so forth and so on and we're losing the, the big picture while we're fighting amongst ourselves for what very little we're able to get in terms of pensions and health care and they're all going up there's no question about that all of the corporate America who are taking a lot of those jobs to the Far East and other parts of the world don't really have an allegiance to our country. And that's, that's real simple. So we have to be careful about falling into the pitfall about fighting amongst each other because that's what the Koch brothers want. That's what they want us to do. Corporate America wants us to fight amongst ourselves for just a little bit. Time as long as we don't attack them.